good Christ. Hey everybody, Posh here. I know you can't see what we're doing right now. I'm in the truck getting suited up. Hold on, I need I need another glove. But, uh, I another need the, what? Well, I need the one with the elastic. I'll just leave that. That one's the open one. I mean, I can do it. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. If I need to trade out, I'll trade out and whatever. So uh, let me grab the uh, case here real quick. Hey everybody. Yeah, listen. This is you yeah, we're in it. We are in it. Hosh here. I got the case. I got the hand set. I'm just gonna around the air high and then we we need to pick up every book we do. Oh, thanks. Um we gotta go around. We gotta go around. Uh hold on guys, we'll 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 let you know what's going on. We got a major stinging incident down here. I gotta make sure these guys are okay. Hang with us. We're gonna try to get you all the shots and the story here. I'm I'm actually we showed up and I'm surrounded by bees in the truck. If you wanna see what these assholes are, now's the hour. Hang with us, stay with us. I know we're piling in. Holy shit. They're gonna get stung. The whole street's getting stung up. Hold on. Hold on. We'll let you know everything in just a second. Stay with us, people. Oh, he got stung up. I'm going to find out if he's going yep. to the hospital. Yep. We've got a huge stinging incident going on. These things are blowing up all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Just hold on. I'm getting everything going. I wanted to... Because we gotta, we got to show you what's up. How many phones are we using? Uh, just two. Okay. Yeah. And I'm trying to, uh, thanks, Don. Yeah. I'm trying to, uh, just I get the cameras. The hospital. Yeah. Are you coming out? I will be out in just a second. All right, that's what I think. So I'm just trying to get suited up. We got out of the truck and bees flooded the truck. I don't know if you can see this. Somebody to the hospital. Are they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, these are mean bees. Hold on. So. Well, that's about the best I'm going to do with that. All right. <laughs> yeah, this is major. Yep. All right. Here we go, gang. Oh. So what happened was there's some construction going on and they moved uh yeah i'm ready to go okay uh yeah we got a major thing in here these people just raced off to the hospital hi everybody i'm reed blue killer b guy we're in douglas arizona we don't even know where the bees are yet except all over the place and, i mean stinging people all the way over those houses all the way over there um uh we got a one thing that we actually have to look for and this i always hate this on these stinging incidents is a body right uh, we have to look and make sure that there is, we also have to make sure none of these people pull in close and fuck. You want to do that? Well, I got to go tell them yep. to get out. So basically there was some construction, long story short, and they, they lit into a hive and we got called. Don't get out! No, roll your, roll your window, window up! Roll your window up! Alright, just crack it. Just hold that. Hold on. I gotta go tell these people. To people are walking them. around because they don't know. And what happens is the bees... And they all end up in the hospital. The bees give them a minute once they get out and then they, they get on them. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Don't get out of the truck. There are many people. People had to go to the hospital. Yeah, tenemos abejas. And todos son africanos. Todos son asesinos. Huh? 
It would be safer. You can't go in the house. Yeah, más o menos. Yeah, es muy peligroso. Como una docena de people were stung. It's horrible. It's horrible. We don't even know where the hive is yet. We just got called emergency. So, thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you. Dos o tres horas de mejor. Gracias. So, I wonder, I mean, should we get the fire department down here? Jesus Christ. I think, um... Like, they need to block these streets off or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly what needs to happen. Uh, let me grab the, uh, I think that's gonna have to be what happens. Uh, so this is Crystal Street, is that correct? No, Crystal Street was around the block. What is this one? Hold on. Uh, I don't know, I'd have to run down and look at the sign. Uh, I got it written down here. Yeah. All right, Keller B Nation, be patient with us. Uh, I gotta find out the name of the street corner here. Uh, Crystal and uh, Silver Springs, all right. Yep. So we, we need backup, and uh, you know that I do not have to to call if I need it, and by God, I need it. So I'm gonna have to sit in here to die. Give me a second, everyone. Uh, this is Reed Booth. I'm in Douglas. We have a stinging incident on uh, Crystal and Sulphur Springs, and I need backup. We're here to remove the bees, but we do not know where the hive is. They have been actively stinging people for a couple of hours now, and uh, so I need backup to keep people from driving down the street and more, or anybody actually, bicyclists or whoever, extremely aggressive bees. Again, this is Reed Booth, killer bee guy. I don't see anybody laying. We, we, we haven't walked out in the field yet. There was a, there is a truck uh, sitting here with a hat on the ground and the door open, and I'm afraid. <laughs> but we haven't scouted the uh, the surrounding area yet uh, to see if anybody's laying down. But we will right now while someone's en route. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Is this a good callback number for you? Five two zero two two seven five four two nine, and we will be. Oh. Okay. I just need the. Uh, uh, squad car or maybe a SAT team or something um, on the on each corner to stop people from walking, driving, uh, no elephants, no nothing. Okay. Because these are extremely, they, they were, they were actually were attacking on the next street over uh, two, 300 yards away. All right, so I'm, but I'm putting that information in there. I do have your telephone number and you again said it was reboot, correct? That is correct, yep. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to put a cover service. I'm going to get some units down there. They might be giving you a call as well, okay? Awesome. Thank and you so much. call me back if anybody needs medical attention, okay? All right. Thank you. We'll go scout the area. Thank You're you so welcome. much. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, Killer Bee Nation. So i got to keep this on me now. Yeah, thanks for being with us, everybody. No, And thank you for your support. We want you part of this. These are, right. This is, this is the let's stuff go, we want you to be a part bodies. of. Yep. Yep. All right. Hello? Is anyone in here? Anyone conscious? Hello? Oh, fuck me. There's a baby seat in here. There's a baby seat in here. Uh, I don't see anyone. And we've got baby shoes. Oh man, this makes me nervous. Fuck. All right, we'll just set it off to the side. Um, okay, there's no one laying over there. We need to scout the area before we even try to find the bees because uh, if there's someone laying out there, we may need to grab an EpiPen. And uh, we're going to be expecting. Um, what up? So. It, so, if first responders are showing up and we're already here, what does that make us? Super responders. Tree responders. Tree responders. So these bees are aggressive. They were on us all the way over there. Now this makes me think actually. Yeah, we were on the other side of this block. Huh? Trying to, we were on the other side. We, we had to drive on the other side of the block trying to put our suits on. Uh, thanks for your patience with us guys. I have not looked thoroughly around that trailer yet, but I want to scout off the surrounding area because 
The guy who lives back here is the one that called Anthony. If you're watching, thank you, buddy. And I'm sorry you got stung. We'll talk to you a little bit later if you're on. Anthony got stung in the face. His wife got stung. His poor little girl ran from the bees and fell down. So there's junk and shit laying over well, here. Well, he's got he's got goats that are hiding, got goats right? That are hiding underneath the trailer. I hope they're not dead. What we're looking for right now is anything that would have bees in it over here. Then we're going to go back to the trailer and uh, see if we can locate the hive. Right now we're scouting for the hive. Uh, this is kind of a cluster. It could be in a tire anywhere in here. And I hate this shit because... Well, where did they move it from? It was that right fifth here. wheel? They moved it from back here. Got it, I see. You see the, the, yeah, the, the tracks? Yeah. yeah. So it was parked right here. Right. And I mean, do you think there should we check inside the fifth wheel? Yes, I just wanted to make sure to see if there's any. There, I mean, there's piles of junk back here. Right. We're, we gotta check everything, is what I found. Right. Uh, man. So, this, get this, everyone. This happened um, three and a half hours ago. And they are still this aggressive. Yeah. So, I'm. Um, we just don't know. We just don't know where it is, but we do have to locate the hive. We will have first responders here in a little bit. Um, we're trying to find out right now if we need to have EMTs come out. If there was a guy that came here. This drives me nuts. There was a guy that came here two, an hour and a half ago in a bee suit uh, that works for the city. Now I'm gonna have to have a word with someone because this is not right and unlicensed and started banging on shit and got them pissed off again so this cannot happen everyone needs to know this shit cannot happen so i'm looking for piles of debris what's I that see, i don't see anything in this do you hear that place. listen what listen what there's something over there where excuse me what are you talking about i can't hear you you mean like a buzzing no screaming yeah. Fuck. It honestly sounded like peacocks. Oh, you know what? It was. I heard them too. You hear that? Yeah, it's peacocks. All right, we're going to look at the trailer. Um, you had me scared there for a second. I remember one time out at the ranch, um, I was barbecuing. And this was at a different ranch down the hill. And... Um, all of a sudden, the neighbors had peacocks, and all of a sudden, the sheriff shows up. And I said, so what's up, Steven? How you doing, buddy? The lights on, and everything. They said, we had a call from the highway, some woman screaming her head off, getting throttled. And right then, the peacock lit up, and we laughed so hard. It was crazy. We got to kind of make a, uh, I'm just looking for bodies, actually, right now. You see, when you get attacked, you will run everywhere. You will try to run away when you should get into a vehicle. It scares the living skin out of me over here with a baby seat in it right and no mother and no baby and no buddy anywhere hopefully they're in the main the hospital okay with fifth wheels like this as we well know this kind of shit is always suspect but uh, i don't see anything there i don't see anything there Well, the door's open. Yeah, I'll do it. Then we're gonna Well, the, yeah, I don't... Here's your phone. Or the fire. Glad I'm in here, I can actually answer it. Uh, Killer Bear Removal Service, Reed here. 
Hey, buddy, how you doing? We're, um, are, are you are you on route? Yeah. Oh fuck, this is horrible, bud. Um, so there was a stinging incident this morning up on Sulphur Springs and Crystal, just the, just this side of Purtleville and uh, the Douglas side. And so what happened was a couple of, or I don't know who, but somebody in a forklift. Right, there's new construction in a house on the corner. And so they, they tried to move a fifth wheel and that old piece of shit fifth wheel with a forklift and got the bees stirred up. We are actually standing inside the fifth wheel right now trying to locate the hive. And the bees lit up, chased everybody off. Um, I don't know how, at least a dozen people stung. Uh, and they were stinging 300 yards away into the next block when we just pulled up. They were attacking. So we had to get suited up quite a ways away. And so what I'm really, I would appreciate you guys for is to make sure nobody, you know, drives down here, walks down here. It's just, somebody will die. Yeah. So the, the construction guys, uh, they kind of like push the, uh, the whole panel, right? The big panel? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, we do, we do, uh, we're live streaming right now, actually, because we're trying to educate people about these things and, and to not do stupid shit like this, <laughs> you know, and yeah, we're live on YouTube and TikTok right now because, I mean, they're bouncing off our nets like hail. It's just horrible. And this is the incident happened over three hours ago. Oh, and the bees are They're still meaner than shit. I mean, I'm, I, they're bouncing off the windshield of, of the fire truck. Yeah, I mean, you've seen our fire truck, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So... They are. Uh, we're here with the lights on in the fire truck, but I don't want to put caution or you know police tape up across the road um, because somebody's just going to drive through it. Um, but I can't have anybody even driving by with their windows down. Yeah. Well, I I guess that um, Sunnyside could come. Um, I just I you know I just wanted to get some assistance down here while we locate the hive and eradicate it as to not getting anybody else stung. Me? Yeah. One nine five nine. I'm a killer bee guy. You know how to bisbee? Okay. One nine five nine. Oh God, I know the bees are horrible. One nine five nine. Nineteen fifty one, January nine, nineteen fifty nine. So, is there any uh, SAT team or anything on that could stay a couple of blocks away and block traffic, or, or are you, is it, are you just on? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what jurisdiction this is, except I know it's uh, realistically Sunnyside Fire, but I don't think it's Douglas Police. I don't know if it falls into sheriff's jurisdiction. It's actually uh, Turtleville. Turtleville has a firefighter. Right, right. But I don't know what law enforcement agency. Probably you guys, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, buddy. All right, we're here. When you get here, I'll look for you. We're still... Just, uh, I don't know if we're out of range down here or, or what, but anyway... We're doing the best we can here. Yeah. Yeah. Big they ass the, fucking they're the, hive. They're in the fifth wheel? Yep, they're in the, um, God damn it, there goes a vehicle. We're getting the sheriff's team up to assist. Sorry if we lost you for a minute there, everybody. Um, they're in next to the bed in a cabinet. Okay. I got to get in the truck and drink a little water. Yeah. You want to see everybody in the show? Yeah. I hope we don't lose the reception, you guys. Stay tight, please. Where did he say they were? I know he said they were in a cabinet.
Oh, I can smell it. I can smell the comb. <sighs> Holy shit. Guys, they're just honeybees. I'm not even gonna do that. It's getting dangerous. We gotta close them in. They blew up when I walked in that room. I've really got to get another glove on. They're going to climb down inside and send me. Okay, let's get you one and get you in the truck. I need an elastic. Yep, yep. I'll get you. I'll get it for you. And then I'm going to, um, you want to set the camera there, maybe? Yeah. You need a right for it. Uh, left. Oh, that's oh, pretty handy. Yeah. Is that a left? It's a yeah. left. That's it? Okay, yep, good. Yep, yep. All right, you get in the truck and do that. Yep. All right, guys, so this is really fucking serious business here. Um, I don't know how many people have been stung. At least a dozen or more. We got the sheriff down at the end blocking the street. I'm going to go in and get set up for removal. God damn it, this is exactly what I hate. So they got on it with this backhoe. And, uh, God, I hope you guys can... Are you still on? I hope so. I can't tell. Uh, man, these guys are vicious. This is like a... Definitely a five coming off the chain, everyone. All right, please comment and whatnot. We'll uh, get to it later, but we got to go in and start the removal on this shit. So they tried to move. You know what the horrifying thing is? They probably knew that they were here. Here you go, Hope. Thank you. So, uh, we need that light. That's a cramped fucking place to work. We should make sure they aren't anywhere else. What I believe is this one of mine. You see how big it is? Yeah. No, I didn't even get to them. It just blew up so strong. But, wow. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah. Yep. Should I start spraying him? Yeah, give me the spray. He's Do it to it. Yeah, we're gonna... See, these bees have already got angry. Oh. Yes. Yep, I'll be right back. Here you go. Yep. So you see how many there are? I've already got those stuff. Yes, yes. This is the definition of nightmare. Anybody that says these should be saved, I don't want to talk about it right now. Right. Right. Okay, so for right now, while we get our tubs and our kits, we're going to just let you tell you that the poison wouldn't do it again. It's already good All I have to do is prop this up so that that comb is empty. Let me show everyone. Yeah. yeah. That comb is empty. There are no bees in there. They all came out for the party. Wow. Does everybody see that? Yeah. So Where right. Okay. Here you Tubs. go. Oh, oh, I got it. Tubs, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so I want to show everybody what's going on here. They're going and going out of this roof. That's where they were coming and going to begin with. And the reason we couldn't see them was we were looking under, right? Well, that's one, that was not where they were. So we got the sheriff department out. I hope they're bringing a SAT team, which is a sheriff assist team. And uh, I hate this. This is unnecessary bullshit. 
We haven't got a sheriff down there yet, but we have one down there. So we're going to get our equipment. I'm tempted to back this thing up. It has flat tires now. Uh, I'm really worried about the woman who had the baby carrier in the back of this truck over here and is now missing. You know what I'm going to do? <coughs> I'll tell Hosh, i got to go look in that garage, make sure she's not laying in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just, this is so ridiculous. Okay, we got to give that spray piece a minute. Hosh, what, after we get that in there, what we have to do is go look in that garage and hope nobody's laying in there. So, I'm going to walk over, and if we need EMTs, then we're going to have to assist them with getting the injured or deceased out. Because we just don't know. But it, it makes sense that people that get attacked after they run around enough will get into a house. Um, but they'll run right by it a bunch of times until then. So, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, good news is I don't see anybody laying here. Hello? Hello? All right, no, I don't hear anybody either, so that's good news. All right. All right, nobody. Yep. So now we're going to get in the thick of it. People just simply do not realize how fucking mean these things are. So we got the spray diesel yeah. off. They were stinging people all the way over there at those houses. Yeah, and, and just to, you know, enunciate, delineate, they moved the fifth wheel. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't touch that. They disturbed it, though. <laughs> That's for sure. So, so you want to get in and start cutting that comb down. Now, folks, using poison at this point means nothing. It would just toxify the air for absolutely nothing because um, they're already lit up. How's it going? Is that laying on the side where it's no, still up? No, it's gone. It's okay. All right. Um, yeah, it's got to stay up straight up and down, though. Here, I'll, I'll hold it. One thing I'm really trying, I'm knocking them down as they're going out of the uh, skylight because that's how they get outside. It's going to be a point where, um, okay, i got to get this out of here so we can breathe. You know, pretty much no matter where I put it, though, they're going to be knocking them down. God, what a nightmare. This shit drives me nuts. Unnecessary. Oh. All right. We're just going to leave this here to knock them down. And we'll be using a lot of these spray adhesives right now, guys. As soon as I get it to stand up right. God damn it. All right. So it's just knocking them down. It really doesn't make... There's so many in the air. It doesn't make any difference really where we put it. All right. How, uh, have you gained access? All right. Let me see. So these bees have already robbed their honey. All right. There's a little bit in there. There's a little bit in there. Okay, would you would you take this uh, down there? Yes. I want to document it. Yes. So, here's what we're looking at, guys. That whole thing is full. What I'm afraid is if the drawer above is full. Is there a bottom on that drawer? Hold on. Uh, yep, it's purple as shut. We have to pry it open. Yeah, they do go all the way up, too. Yep, okay, they go all the way up. All right. When you're cutting the comb, does it go um, up under or is that the bottom of the It drawer? goes up. The drawer, right, it's, gonna, a it's a fake drawer. It's a fa oh, then I'm going to go get a pry bar. Okay. No, we got to get it open. We got to take it from the top. Right, no, this is uh, Douglas, Arizona. It's not Buckeye. We're in Cochise County, Arizona. So, for those of you who are new to the channel, these are killer bees. Killer bees were created in a Brazilian laboratory in 1957. They escaped and... Uh, Oh, they took over South America, they took over Central America, and they hit the U.S. in the early 90s. By 1998, 100% of the feral unmanaged honeybee hives, and this would be one of them, had become Africanized, a.k.a. killer bees. People think this is a myth, they think it's a hoax. This is what's real. Yeah. All right, guys, let me get this here. You're going to see the night. Ready? Yep. Oh, more. Okay. Well, it's purple as shut. Uh, we're going to see what's in there. Yep, look at it. It's full of comb, everybody. Yeah, it is. Uh, is it even possible to get out of there, or are we going to have to cut that front off? Damn it. Ah, yeah, we got to cut Damn thing out. Major stinging incident here in Douglas, Arizona. Uh, do not mess with bees yourself, and if you know where a hive is, don't fuck with it. 
drives me nuts. Somebody showed up an hour and a half ago in a bee suit and started banging on shit and got them all lit up again. I'm going to find out who. That's for sure. Because this is bullshit. Uh, at least a dozen people stung. I don't even know how many, actually. So we got to pry the um, drawer out. This whole co- what I'm hoping is we can just take the entire drawer with us. What the hell's the pry bar? Uh, stick with us, guys. We got a lot of shit going on. There we go. Uh, big pry bar and, and another big pry bar. What do you think, guys? This shit makes me so nervous. My God. Because people die from this. I don't know if anybody's died here yet, to be honest with you. But um, it's very possible. This, you know, you get to the hospital and you might be allergic. You might not be allergic. You just don't know. So we're here to make it safe for Douglas. All of the bees are Africanized. They're all killer bees. And if they ain't evident, I'll never call you again. Here you go, Hosh. Yeah. So look at all this that Hosh is getting out of here. Now we have to remove all this. We got honey. Brood. Brood, okay, all right. So, um, look at that drawer is completely full. Wow. That's old. Too. Yeah, that's old, oh, and so got, am I. What? We got brood on this side. All right. I don't know if we we'll put that in a different bin. We will at some point. For now, we just got to keep going, doing what we're doing here. Yeah. Oh my God. So, um, Bush is cutting comb. We're making it safe now. We have to. We have to get rid of the, the hive really proper, huh? It's not, it's not, uh, helping. not helping a lot. Okay. Because I'm going by feeling anyway. Okay. Now I'm thinking if we can pry that drawer yeah. from the bottom yeah. and loosen it, then we if we can take that whole drawer out and take it with us. Yeah. Because it's a metal drawer. So these bees attacked. I don't even know how many people here in Douglas, Arizona. I'm sorry on YouTube, but we lost reception for a second. But um. Uh, this is a pain in the ass. And uh, Don, if you're watching, uh, Don's, on there. Don's on here. Okay, Don, yeah. Huge one, Don. Boy, look at that. Look at that. So we are cutting all this down. That's all. We're cutting all this down now. It, the bees have already attacked. There's no containing them at this point. What we have to do is remove all the comb, remove all the hive, and then we'll go through a couple of cans, a couple hundred cans of spray adhesive. I get a, all this. Oh my, it's all brood. It's all brood. Yeah, and it's these old. Are all, these are all bees waiting to hatch. And it's all, and it's old comb. Yep. So this hive was putting out at least 30 new ones a year, forever, and... Uh, and nasty. And nasty. These guys, so what they did was they tried to uh, remove this. I'm going to get another bin. Hosh. Yeah. Um, they tried to move this uh, piece of shit fifth wheel uh, out of the back of the thing and disturb this hive. I would be shocked if somebody didn't know that this hive was here, but I can't say it for sure. Oh my god, this drives me nuts, people getting attacked. Totally unnecessary. Alright, so, how's it going? Look at this. Look at this huge hive in that drawer. People always say, oh, there can't be very many bees in there, it's just a drawer. Yeah, there's 200,000 bees in there. No, there were 200,000 bees in there. Now, they're all out here. They send them all out. And see, I've said that before, they that they don't, when they attack, they don't send out just a few like European bees. They send out everybody. Well, that's what these guys did. And are they're continuing to do, but at this stage of the game, when they've been... This is empty. This hive's empty. They fucking... Okay, guys, I hope we're still live on uh, TikTok. We're back on YouTube. I got to get out and uh, and we got to pry that uh, drawer out. We have reception problems as usual. Damn it. I guess I'm going to have to get a Starlink thing. Can't afford it yet. But, you know, we'll get one and, and we'll get reception everywhere we go. But we have to document this. That's why I'm adamant about filming this, is documenting this, because um, whoever was trying to deal with them before in a bee suit, I need to have a chat with because it was doing highly illegal shit. Um, in the state of Arizona, you can't do this unlicensed, of course. And well-meaning as everybody is, the highway to hell is paved with good intentions. So we're going to go back in now, and we're going to pry that drawer out and probably maybe put it in a tub. So the bees out here have calmed down considerably because of course we're at the main hive and uh, removing them. So there comes a point in every war when one side is defeated, period, correct? 
damn it, I keep getting caught up on that fucking thing. Um, how's it looking, Hosh? We're getting there. All right. Oh, it's calmed down a lot. Yeah. All right. Now, if you lift it up from underneath, oh well, is it just is it metal or no? It's plastic. Plastic, of course it is. So we have to remove everything from under there also. Here, let me let me uh, let me get in there for a second. I okay. want you to take a look at this. Okay. The TikTok is something wrong. And you probably could use two seconds in the air. You're right. This is Hosh is getting overheated. Thanks to Don, we have our cooling vest coming. And um, here, you want to take that? Yeah, hold on. All right. We're getting uh, overheated, but we won't after Tuesday because Ho because um, because Don says sending us two cooling vests. All right, I'm gonna see about that. Oh. Oh. Uh. All right, everybody. Thank you. Hey gang, hold on. We're just gonna get back on here on uh, on TikTok. Oh, there we go. Hey everybody. Okay. Yes, water. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we got a bunch right here, ready to go. Yeah, the air conditioning's on. Mm hmm. Mm. Hey. Yeah, thanks for being with us, TikTok. Sorry about the loss. I, I don't know why we're, we just keep losing reception in that trailer. Oh. Mm mm. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for thanks for witnessing. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, thanks for witnessing this. You all, it's really important that everybody sees this. It's important to understand that this is a real thing and that these things are, you know, dangerous. And this is where it can go. And it's not the first time we've seen this. This is where it can go. And they're in all the lower 48 states. You gotta demand that your local beekeepers are requeening. And nobody should be relocating hives anywhere in the US. Yeah, but there are killer bees in Canada. They found them in Alberta. All right, gang. Possibly, yeah, but we can't we can't really think about any of that now we do we do have to figure out a better way to keep consistent streaming We've looked at Starlink it costs money You know nothing's for free we're way out here mm. Killer bees thanks Joseph killer bees are actually just a little bit smaller some people say. Really, you can't tell by looking. All right, hold on, gang. I gotta put my uh, I gotta put my big blues back on here. Bear with me for just a second. Boy, it's messy. <clears throat> no, I didn't get it all. We probably got about half of it, and uh, we gotta go get the rest. See, when we take all of that, then they lose what they're fighting for. Remember, they're primarily fighting because they think all that treasure trove in there is at risk, which it is. Now, it wasn't at risk when they moved the trailer. So don't think like, oh, these bees are blowing up because you're bad guys and you're taking their food. These bees are blowing up because that's what they do. And, uh, you know, like I said, these guys moved the fifth wheel this morning. Whether or not somebody knew they were in there, who knows? It doesn't matter at this point. It's all honey under the bridge. But they moved this damn fifth wheel, and these things went berserk, and they are staying up the entire block. Witness this. 
And next time your local beekeeper says this isn't real, I don't know, fucking punch him in the nose. No, don't do that. But seriously, like, reality check. Hey, wow. Well, it's a whole different scene. That's oh, you got it out. Yeah. There it is. It okay. It weighs about 80 pounds. I'll bet. That's you're, all honey. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, you're going to have to lift it in yep. here. Okay. I'm hoping it fits in here. Okay. So we can preserve it until we get back to the ranch. All right. So, there we go. Sorry, sorry, guys, about the IT shit. Let me move out of the way so you can grab that. It's heavier than you think. Yep. And then, well, first of all, I want to show everybody down here what's going on. Jesus Christ. Here's the scene of Satan's living room. All right, everybody. And so, Hosh. We're, we're gonna have to do some cleanup in here, and by that I mean, oh yeah. yeah anyway, and scrape it a bit. oh yeah, scrape it a lot. We're gonna undercoat the fuck out of it, yeah. and uh, but I can't wait to see what you think about how heavy that thing is. Okay, yeah, that's all honey. It's solid honey. It weighs, God, it. feels like 80, probably 50. Well, we got a lot of brood comb here too. But I, you know, feel like 70, and I'm not. Uh, yeah, no, a lot of brood comb. So it's calmed down a lot. We're winning the war. Uh, using poison would have been fruitless. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. Oh. Hey, Don, your cooling suits are going to be seriously appreciated. These phones are awesome. The reception still is the reception. Yeah, that just is. You want to go set that in the shade somewhere? Yeah. Uh, so these are the bees flying around out, out of the damn skylight, which is how they attacked in the first place. That was their front door to begin with, and that was how they were coming oh, out. Oh, wow. Yeah, that. yeah that, that was their front there door. Is. That was what okay. they were attacking. Um, I, do I need to get out of the way? Probably. No, no, I'm going to pull this You over. think so. Uh, what do you think, huh? Wow. Lightweight, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh my god, we can put the lid on it. Yeah. Well, that's a ready-made. Who wants to buy about 50 pounds of uh, killer bee honeycomb? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. And you're not threatened by us at all. No, no, the bees aren't threatened by us at all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw my curly blonde locks around a little bit. Okay, <laughs> let's not go there. we got to do shit here. <laughs> Wait. So would you bring another bucket so we can put the scraping down in it? We have to take all the possible evidence. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Oh God, now that we have one, two seconds to take a little breather because I'm overheated of course. <laughs> Don, I can't wait for the cooling vest. Thank you so much buddy, really appreciate it. Alright, I'm going to return these to the truck. I okay. don't think we need any of this, we might need it outside. Yeah, all let's right. go ahead and leave one in here, okay. otherwise we'll have to go back on that. Right. Maybe. Anyway, um, can't wait to get it you guys, um, please. Jesus Christ, go to YouTube and become a damn member, would you? Jesus, we got to buy some equipment, obviously. Thank you guys so much for uh, for uh, coming along with us. This is not over. This is uh, we still have to contain as many bees as possible. We're gonna, we're gonna scrape it down. We got to make it safe for the neighborhood, and then we got to inform neighbors to stay inside for a, I don't know, a few months. No, I'm just kidding. They stay inside for a while until these right. damn things calm down. Um, I want to show you guys where where these bees front door was and it was right here This is where they were coming and going right here. This was their front door Except the fifth wheel was at the back of that lot back there. So They got on it with the uh, forklift and we're gonna move it out of the way probably to trash it and uh, the bees I don't have no idea how many people that stung at least a dozen I say probably more but uh, no idea about how many in the hospital. This is really unnecessary. All right, I'm gonna get by you because I'm getting overheated yeah. pretty bad. Yeah. I'm gonna sit in the truck for one second okay. and cool off a little bit. Holy shit, guys, I'm getting a little bit dizzy. Which is uh, heat exhaustion, as everyone knows. So I gotta go sit in the truck. Don, I can't wait for the, for the fucking vest. Oh my God. Don uh, Shar got us these cameras, brought us some vests and cooling vests with the frozen things in them so we can stay a little bit cooler. Sheriff's department is still down here, but I don't want to have to have an ambulance out for me. All right, I'm going to have to wash everything off. Everything's going to be coated in, honey. Holy shit, guys, what a fucking war. <sighs> Holy God. My do-rag flopped in front of my face, and I thought for sure I had bees in there. Just scared the hell out of me. Anyway, okay, guys, I gotta cool off a little bit. Thank you for being with us. Holy shit! Oh, so we're in we're in Bisbee, right? Uh, I don't know. About 10:30. Had a meeting at 11 with this gal who's sewing us, a seamstress. Oh, I gotta drink some water too. Who's sewing us um, capes? <laughs> You're gonna love them, guys. 
capes. That's right, Superman capes. <laughs> anyway, you know how we are. And uh, whew, I'm gonna drink some water. I'm about to pass out. Oh my god. Uh, and so I had a meeting with her on design and cost and all that shit. And of course, you know, she wanted a couple hundred bucks a cape, and I'm like, bee suits cost that. No, that ain't gonna fucking happen. We don't. These are props. They're gonna, you know. We need them super durable, so we went into ripstop nylon. And, oh fuck. And uh, black and yellow or orange, of course, for bees. Sorry guys, give me a minute. Holy shit, I gotta pour some water on my head and cool off. Yeah, hey uh, Don, this is exactly what the cooling vests are gonna feel like, only different. Woo! Boy, that got my attention, that's cold fucking water. <laughs> Okay, I'm awake now. Whew, that was a tiddly bit nipply. That'll cool you down quick, though. Thanks, guys, for sticking with me. I, I'm just, I am just can't get overheated anymore. There's 100 degrees in that. 105, maybe. Or maybe even 10. And that thing is an oven. Uh, so, capes. Yeah, we got capes. And so she's going to redesign and make them really cool as shit. And we'll have our logo on the back. And, oh, my God. This is ridiculous. I was kind of thinking about on our capes having, oh, fuck, sorry guys, I just got to chill for a minute, I'm overheated, Host is kind of doing some cleanup, and as soon as I can walk, I'll take you all back in, but, uh, wow, yeah, my brain races at this point, because, uh, I've been overheated too much, yeah, I gotta, I gotta sit here and cool off, thanks for sticking with me, guys, this is just, whoo, am I beat red, I probably am, uh, but I'll be fine. I just have to cool down and I got hydrated. Man, you know, you get in the middle of war, in the middle, middle, middle of battle, and forget. You know, you forget. You start to get overheated and shit. And you don't think about it. And so that's why those cooling vests that Don got us will be here Tuesday. Oh, my God, I can't wait. I should have had, cooling, you know, ice packs up my ass anyway, but I didn't. You know, if there was a breeze when we showed up. And also when we showed up, we were a block away and down the block. So we were like 350 yards away. And and we got out to talk to the guy that lives way the hell over there that got stung. He got stung. His wife got stung. That little girl didn't get stung, but she fell and hurt herself uh, getting away from him. And so the bees started coming at us all the way fucking over there. And so all the way to that house. And so we... Uh, Drove down uh, a couple of blocks or something and got our suits on and then came back. And he pointed in this direction and I said, that's it, then you stay here. And we came over. And as you guys probably saw, as soon as we got out, they were just everywhere. It was just insane. I got to make sure everybody's still on. Thank you guys for, holy shit, you get rid of the bees that uh, get into your truck. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good question. I saw a comment. I can't even see straight. Uh, uh, we don't. Well, actually, when we're driving, uh, we get a little ways away and then we roll down the windows and let them go out in the air and by that time they're not aggressive because we're on the highway. There ain't nobody walking on the damn highway. So we get rid of them that way. Good question though. Good question. We're not done here by any means you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Fucking major bee attack right here in Douglas, Arizona. We're right on the border. You know what we call these bees when they're, this, when they're on the border like this? We call them bee legals. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I guess I'll have to be dead before I lose my sense of humor. Thank God. Boy, that cool. That's feeling much better, guys. That cool. I, I'm, oh, man, I was wondering why I got stung. I did. I got stung in the finger. This little fucking bee right here. Ow. Ah, man. Oh, you little bitch. Got me right in the little finger as I was saying it. Owie. As I was talking to you. Oh. Oh, it was, it was a damn it sting because it was through my glove. Oh, man, you little pain in the ass. Uh, well, between that and the cold water, it got, my, got me awake. We're going to have to wash this entire damn truck. It's honey everywhere. Oh, my God. Okay, i got to one more calm down, guys. Thank you for hanging with me. Oh, my God, these bees are so horrible. So, um, we're in Bisbee. We're talking with this gal about the capes. And this guy calls, and I said... Uh, he said, hey, help. And I said, what's going on, man? And so he watches he watches the video, and uh, he watches our YouTube and TikTok shit. And um, he said, I'm down here in Douglas on these streets. And 
everybody's getting stung. And so I tried to isolate down what's going on, and he didn't know. Of course, nobody knew until we got here and, and figured out where they were. So we raced down here as fast as we can, and uh, like I said, they were attacking 350 yards away, the truck and us and everything. So they've calmed down a lot now. When we drove over here, it was about like it was when they were mad. Three and a half hours. This is three and a half hours after the stinging incident, and they're still pissed off mad. I've told you guys a hundred times that uh, they will stay mad up to two weeks, bouncing off the windshield mad. Well, this is only three and a half hours later from the stinging incident this morning. Probably about five or six six hours from earlier than now. It was around nine o'clock that this happened here. I don't even know what time it is. I'm too delirious. So they will stay mad. These are remnant bees. It's just ridiculous people that think there's something romantic about these damn things. I don't even know if they killed anybody today. I really don't. I really don't know if they killed any of you guys. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to hydrate a little bit more, except you see that bee right there? She's waiting to try to sting me in the goddamn lip, so she's not going to because I just got rid of her. All right, hot water. Okay, water. I got to douse myself a little more. I got to go get home to sit in the cold because uh, he's younger than I am and uh, thinks he's tougher. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, when it comes to this shit, no one's tough. You know what? I have got to change out my gloves because they're so damn stuck up with shit. All right, guys, uh, thank you for being so patient with me. I'm, I was about to fall down. Now i got to change out gloves so I can actually do something. Hang with me, guys. Oh, yeah, they're still pissed off as hell out here. Oh, man, i got to change gloves quickly here. What the fuck? Oh, man, what did I do with that? Hang, hang with me, guys. Damn, these things are evil. I'm really impressed. All right, here we go. Hope I don't get stung in the process. Hold on. Oh my God, you guys. I just hate it when this happens. It's just unnecessary, but major stinging incident right here on the border. We're gonna, we're taking care of it though. We're gonna make it safe and that's what we're doing. And by God, it's the last thing I do. I'll make it safe, which is what I do. The phone cases are completely full of stingers, you guys. These guys, so you can see, they're, they haven't let up. I mean, they're still nuclear. We will be knocking all of them down, make it safe for this neighborhood. We're not done yet. But we're going to have to find out who owns this property because this is really wrong. All right, everybody, let's go see how she's doing. God, holy shit, thank you for hanging with us. Oh, there he is. How's it going? What's up? How's it going? Good. You need to sit in the truck? No. You need to pour some water on your head? No, I'm all right. Thank you. Look at that Superman shit. Yeah. Well, I did. We definitely uh, took much of the piss out of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> we took much of the piss out of them. Well, not just me. Piss and vinegar. Yeah. Well, we didn't find anybody laying around here, so that's awesome. Um, you want to take this in and show everybody uh, yeah. what's going on? I'm going to go ask the deputy if he knows what happened to the gal. With the truck. Right on. Hey gang, so <clears throat> here we are, now what I've done, it's all good everybody, thanks for your concern really, appreciate you all. So uh, we cleaned all the comb out of there and we got a uh, automotive undercoating and sprayed it all over the inside of there so that, uh, you know, basically they want to they come back or other bees want to move in, nobody's going to be moving in there and if they do, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that level of killer bee. But anyway, uh, this is, uh, we're at about the 90% right now. Oh, man. And we've got uh, four tubs. I actually got quite a bit more honeycomb out of there uh, when I was... Where, say where the hive was? What do you mean? I mean, we're in Douglas, Arizona. The hive was next to the bed, in the in the cabinet next to the bed. Oh yeah, no, it, I checked it. It's it's hollow. This is it. That's where they were. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of a real life horror movie. Uh, no, nothing's under the mattress. No, I mean I can look, but I'm telling you. Yeah, there's nothing under there. 
That was it. That was it. They like to consolidate things. If they were going to spread out, uh, 90% killed. Yeah, probably about that. I mean, we sprayed a ton of them down with the spray adhesive in the beginning. There's always a queen, and we don't care about her. See, when you're when you're uh, exterminating a hive, the queen's irrelevant. The queen only matters if you're relocating the hive. So, oh yeah, definitely time for the scrapyard. Well, I mean, that's where they were going with this thing, no doubt. Yeah. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Thanks, Roland. Thanks for being with us. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Amanda. I am going to take the brood comb home to my chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. Right? Oh, my God. These guys, I love our I love so, family. So, yeah, so, no, the queen won't relocate. The queen's dead. The queen, somewhere in this mix, she's dead. And even if, per chance, she didn't die, she now does not have the amount of bees necessary to go start a new hive. No, it's over. It's over. So sure, all means. the bees are, all the, all the female bees. No, excuse me, all the drone bees are male. These are all females. Most of what you're seeing flying around and stinging, they're female. Yeah. yeah. So the sheriff's deputy said he's going to check with the hospital, see who went in or if anybody did, because that yeah. guy was leaving. I believe he was following someone that was taking someone to the hospital. Yeah. No, I will. I'll, I'll drink in a minute. We're we're pretty much done. Yeah, we're going to knock down all these. Well, He's uh, knocked. Want to knocked. Yeah. And we can take those sure. out. Sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, very good. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Thanks for all your support. But here's the most important thing. Yep. You know, here's how you can really, really support us. Be aware and share this video with people. Yeah. When we first walked in, you all saw when I came in with the camera and they really blew up. Lit up, yeah. And I was like, I got, see, I ran out of here because I got scared. We're not out in the middle of nowhere. No. And I've got, I had to go tell Reed. I knew he was talking to the officer. So the point is, is that um, you, people have to know that this is happening. Yeah, daily, happening daily. 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 And it's happening more and more in more and more places and in, in every state now yeah and I not just Cochise County in every state this is happening yep, yep. Uh, and I and I wish we could just say oh you know the, 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 this is this is an anomaly it's a freak show etc but this is going to become the norm everywhere in the US exactly yep. So, yep so I'm gonna let host bring in these uh, tubs out while I'm I'm just uh, trying to not fall down <laughs> can't wait for those cooling suits done and so Horst is going to be bringing out tub after tub after tub. That looks like the scrapings from what he took out. All right. We still have to, I told the uh, deputy about the um, the door open on that truck and the hat laying on the ground, and I'm just worried to death. We're going to do another scout around a little further out in the desert, but when we went all the way over there from where this trailer was dragged to look for a hive, we were also looking for anybody on the ground, and we didn't see anyone, but we didn't go, f we didn't go far enough because... The bees were still on us way too much, so we wanted to. We had to get back and do this safely to make it so that we can go look up. And because we're the only two out here doing this, and thank God the deputy is over there, uh, making sure nobody walks or drives down here. And you know, I mean, sure as shit, we will be in the bee suits, have police tape up, have these wonderful deputies on each end of the street, and somebody will walk under the police tape and go, "What are you doing?" It's like, God damn it, get out of here, you idiot! Drives me nuts. These bees are deadly. They're not our grandfather's honey bees. Oh, I must be feeling better. Um, so, yeah, Hosh is uh, going to be stacking these guys up, and then we're going to knock down a shitload more while we're walking around looking for anybody on the ground. Now, here's the thing, gang. We're actually going to another job right now. Oh, yeah, we had an emergency call on the way here. Down in, I can't even fucking remember, um, Herford. <laughs> we were just there last night, weren't we? Yep. My God. This is, the, this is the big one. That's the big one? Thank you, but what about that tub? Got to I obviously have my sense of humor back. Jesus, I was going to fall down there, guys. Take you in and show you what Hosh did. Oh, I think he already did, but... You know what? I'm not going to go back in there. It's too damn hot. I've had enough. There. We have a nice little uh, fixer-upper for sale. Uh, comes with honey on tap. Yes, indeed, you and the missus will just love it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a divorce waiting to happen. And probably a bankruptcy. I was trying to sell the damn thing, but it didn't really... I don't think it worked. <laughs> Comes with honey on tap. Little fixer upper. No, but honey on tap. It's got a flow hive. It's flow like, hive, yes. Flow, flow. Hive right yeah. next to the bed. Kind of like my lower intestinal tract after this. But flow. 
I tell you guys, this is absolute nonsense. It, and of course, you know, it's sheer adrenaline. And, and now I still am worried about someone having trouble out there. So we're gonna do a scout around. We, At this time, we would have heard someone hollering or something, but I, I hate it when I find someone in distress like that or an animal that I have to put down because they're, they, they're just so attacked with bees. We had to take three dead dogs out of a yard last summer in Naco. Yeah, these things are evil. I mean, all of the first responders, this guy, the sheriff's deputy down here, wonderful guy. He's, he knows about them. Uh, the sheriff knows about them. Local police, fire, all the first responders knew about these things. And the general public really doesn't. And it's really a problem because they're just fucking evil. Wow. What are we, I mean, four tubs? Yeah. That one's brewed? The, uh, no, I think the one I just Oh, that's all right. We don't need to look. I don't, yeah. All right. Is there any tools left in there? Because I... I really don't want to go back in. I'm too hot. I'm too sexy for my bee suit. Okay, now I'm delirious anyway. All right. So um, I'm just knocking them down. You see how they're on me really heavily? Our bee suits smell like venom. Because when they, when we were just in there, and we were the whole time since we got here, they're dripping venom, venom on us. That's all. That's how mean they get. That's how angry they get. They drip venom on our suits, on our nets. And you can smell it all the time. So our suits smell like the enemy because the, the, the venom is the um, alarm pheromone. The venom is the attack pheromone. And that when you saw them, when we went and you saw them all come out, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, there were probably already 50 to 70,000 bees out in the air. And this is after three hours. Then. Hey, look at that. We are live. All right, let's see here. I'm going to turn this thing around. Huh. All right, good. Now, oh, I think we got some honey on the on the lens here on uh, on YouTube. I guess I'll flip that around. Oh yeah. No, the, the you know what? I'll tell you what. The. Uh, Yeah, I think we just got we just got a bunch of honey on our lenses. Yep. All right, people. So, any questions? Anthony, oh man, you missed it. <laughs> you missed it. It was crazy. Hey, Kelly. Oh, that was a crazy hive. Check this out. No, we just had the uh, we had to call in the the sheriff and everything. Wild. Wild job. Who pays for the services? Uh, in this case, I'm not sure. Uh, whoever's property that fifth wheel was on. Yeah. Good EMT. I'm glad you got to see that. Thanks, Ramona. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not taking my hood off anytime soon. Yeah, the property owners. The property owners are liable. The property owners have to pay. Yeah, there, you will see the rerun on YouTube. That's right. It'll be posted there. Yeah. Thanks, Twin. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Thanks for being with us. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you know what? These bees, were they worse than Portal? It's a good question. They were definitely some of the meanest. No question this was a class five. Oh, Buckwheat, it was amazing. Check out the rerun on YouTube. Check it out. It's worth it. Yeah. Thanks, Heaven. 
Oh yeah, no, I just drank some water. Thank you. I'm I'm doing all right. Yeah. How long were they in there for? I don't know. Maybe five years. Yeah, they were strong, Don. They were strong bees. And you all saw them when I went in there, and they really started blowing up. Oof. Really tough. Yeah, probably... Yeah, it was up there. It was a five. I'm going to give that a solid five, that one right there. Electrolytes. Oh, yeah, you know, we'll eat. I had a lot of fruit this morning. I had a huge breakfast. Thank you. No, I'm really good. See, they're saying save the bees because what they're really saying when they say save the bees is save our pollinators. And then the problem is that's an overly simplistic statement. Say we do need to save the bees. We need to save our local pollinator bees. Um, they're at risk. Those are the bees that are actually at risk. Honeybees aren't at risk. Even European honeybees are not at risk. So, you know, the main thing is, well, this was an emergency call. We haven't exactly been hired. Um, <laughs> thanks, guitar man. <laughs> yeah. Right, with these kinds of blow-ups, yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know about Africanization, and for whatever reason, I mean, I've seen local media outlets cover it here and there, but... Good Christ. Yeah. Oh my God, so the deputy is checking to make sure nobody is, uh, like, dead. Right. He said no one went to the hospital, so I don't oh, know if, okay. they, if they might have went on the other side. Sure. Because people will drive to Mexico because they of can't course. afford it here. Of course. And a lot of these people, all these people in, in Douglas have relatives and whatnot on the other side. Now we're Yeah, Douglas is a border town. Yeah. That's why these are B-legals. <laughs> okay, I'm delirious, everyone. Jesus yeah. Christ. How is everybody doing? They're good. Yeah. They're good, yeah. I don't know what's going on with our numbers on TikTok. They're abysmal. But that's all right. We've got the people that matter with us, you know? Yeah. Our, our loyal fans I'm here. I'm so fucking scared of TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. All they do is yank your chain and don't pay you for it. Right. You're going to pull my leg. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's not my leg. Yeah, we are heading out for another call. Yeah, we got another We're probably going to go to the ranch first. And yeah, then we got to go to the Hereford. ranch and do a little cleanup and yeah. hydrate and all that. And and uh, and, and then we got to go down to Bees in a Garage. Yeah. And somewhere in Hereford. I can't remember where it Lee, we, oh, we don't know. We know a bunch of people got stung up. Obviously, you all saw that truck that was abandoned there. Yeah, with the door that's, open. That's freaky. Door open, hat on the ground, baby seat in the back, empty as hell. The sheriff's deputy is checking on that right now. Yeah. It scares the living crap out of me. Yeah. It really does. So. Uh, yes, we did hear about the pe the six people that died from killer bee attacks in Nicaragua. Yeah. Horrific. Who sent that to us, Ted? Was it Ted Beeson. Yeah. Ted yeah. Beeson, yeah. 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 And, of, you know, these are those bees. These, oh, no, these, same. These bees would have killed same somebody. Bees. Same bees. The, yeah. the same there, Afghan IB, same damn thing. Same you know? thing. And so, uh, I honestly still don't know if someone did go to the hospital or died because they yeah. might have ran across the site. Could be somebody laying dead in there. I don't, fucking, we don't, I don't know. know. Well, uh, we did walk around out here. There's nothing, nothing out in the field, thank God. The sheriff's deputy has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'd like to thank the Cochise County Sheriff's Department profusely for working with us. Oh, uh, yeah. They're so good. They work with us a lot. Uh, I know uh, Mark Daniels is a friend of mine. He's the sheriff. He's just really great, really great. And the, and Carol, Carol, if you're watching, Carol Kappas is the PR lady for uh, for the Sheriff's Department. Great people. Love them. Uh, uh, I always, yeah, I don't know how they do what they do. But they do when they show up when we need them, and I really appreciate that so much. It's just so damn much. My God. Uh, all right. Well, I think we're about ready to wrap it and go rescue someone else. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Right. Let's do it. We love um, you guys. We have to clean up the cameras. We have to clean up everything. Oh, it's Everything's a mess. stuck with honey. Everything's a mess. Everything's a mess. Somebody asked real quick. We can do one question. We'll answer one question. We get this one a lot. What do you guys do about the bees in the truck? I don't know why I'm so handsome. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I misheard. Wasn't that the question? What do you What do you do about the bees in the truck? You know, and that's people ask that a lot, and this is nothing compared to what it usually is. Um, okay, we actually will ride home in the bee suits, or at least a few miles, or on the highway. But we roll down the windows and let them blow out. Okay, when we're on the highway, because at that point, a few miles away, uh, they're going to go out at about 65 miles an hour and tumble through the air and go. You know, they're going to be part of the Fagawi tribe at that point, right? <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard about those, the Fagawi tribe. 
Yeah, they they were they they got their name because they walk around most of the time. They never settled down, right? They walked around most of the time, going, "Where the fuck are we?" I don't know. Do you know where we are? I, where the fuck are we? So anyway, those bees will <laughs> obviously sound delirious. <laughs> and so they're gonna be. Here comes someone now. Great. Um, Jesus Christ! I wonder if the deputy sees that. Well, they're parking way back there. That's a good thing. It actually looks like my ex-girlfriend's car. Oh, well, you can only hope. Come on up. Come on up. We want to talk. Get out of the car. No, anyway. <laughs> um, so the bees will fly out, and then we can take our suits off and go. you got a shitload of bees on your head. Oh, yeah, man. So uh, anyway, for now, I'm going to tell the deputy, thank you so much, Cochise County Sheriff's Department. Really appreciate you helping with this. we got to actually, before we go anywhere, go around the corner and talk to the guy. But I know, uh, are we still on TikTok? Because I know if we yeah, drive, we are. it'll kick us off. Yeah, we are. Dumbass. So um, we'll probably wrap it up on TikTok. Anybody that wants to see the interview with the guy who called us and got stung up and his family got stung up, way the hell and gone over there, go over to YouTube because we have to shut it on for YouTube, TikTok because if we go on TikTok and drive, uh, it, we're, sh we're um, doing something about dangerous acts. Oh, for Christ's sake. Have you ever seen that channel on TikTok where there's a trucker? He's driving. Right. I said a trucker and he's driving. Yeah. I don't understand it. I yeah. really, I'm really. Anyway, so jump over to YouTube if you want, and uh, and if you really want to help us, like Hosh said, be aware and uh, become a member, please. Jesus Christ. Thing. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, on TikTok, we're gonna sign off on TikTok because we're gonna start driving in a little bit and we'll lose you anyway, or they'll they'll spank us. But YouTube, stay with us because they don't care, do they? I don't know. <laughs> well, we won't point it at the street. So. We'll yeah, point yeah. it at you. Okay. All right. Stick with us. I'm going to tell the deputy that we're going to drive over and talk to the guy. All right. Cool. And I'll, uh, I'll log off here. On TikTok. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for joining, yeah. you guys. On TikTok, stick with us on uh, YouTube. So, hey, gang, listen. If you got bees coming and going, you know, out of an old trailer on your property or, um, you know, it's a, a soffit or under a shed, call an exterminator. It can go like this. It can go like this, and uh, unfortunately, you're going to see more and more of this all over the place. So it's no joke. Again, don't call a beekeeper. Call an exterminator. Later on, everybody. We'll come back on in a little bit and talk with the other, uh, you know, we'll show you this interview with this, this guy that got stung up. I don't know, gang, I don't know what is going on with TikTok. It's just, it's just crazy. The number of views we're not getting all of a sudden. Uh, anyway, stay with us here for just a second, everybody. We're going to drive over and, uh, and uh, talk to the guys that, that this happened to. YouTube is good. Oh, yeah. Well, we have to, you know. We, it's kind of like I was talking with Reed the other day. Once the bee so suit goes on, you got to finish. So we have the, uh, here, hand me that. We yeah. got the construction. Are we still on YouTube? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. So we got the guys who might have caused the problems down there uh, with equipment. And they're going to come and work today, apparently. Yeah, they think. Yeah, they think, exactly. The sheriff's deputy said uh, he's going to head off, and we're going to head off, because after we head off, the bees will taper down. But he's, he's, got to, he's telling them right now that they cannot do anything. And so, uh, um, I don't know what Hosher's doing. Oh, are you putting your gloves away? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to be hosed off when we get back to the ranch, huh? So the sheriff's deputy is going to tell them that they cannot work today unless they really want to get injured. Man, what a pain in the ass, huh? I don't know who moved that trailer, but I sure would like to find out. All right, so here, Hosh, I'm going to hand this back to you, and we can go over and talk to the owner. Okay, cool. Stick with us, guys, on YouTube. All right, guys, uh, so here we go. We got the sheriff's deputy. Um, man, the shit we get into. I say that every damn day, don't I? This was a good one. <laughs> yeah, good for him. No one died. He said, okay, the deputy said he found the people who went, got the license plate, ran it, and he found the people that had um, that vehicle, that truck that the door was open, and it was a, a, a daughter, a father, and a little boy. And they 
uh, all got stung uh, numerous times, and, but they're all okay. So that's a red. He checked on the house here. They got stung, they're okay. We already know about the house down there. They got stung, they're okay. We're gonna go over to the original scene of the crime. Yeah, don't go over there, they're meaner than shit. Yes, I'm saying with confidence. They're already on him. They're, he's got to roll up his window quick. They're already on him. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna, where we're gonna be able to have a conversation with this guy. Over Might there. be on the phone. Because they're, we're just, I mean, they're all over the block still. Yeah, and they're of course following us because we're, um, we're the enemy. We smell like uh, venom and all that shit. So the deputy is, I think he's gonna go there where he doesn't need to help us anymore. Oh, God bless the Cochise County Sheriff's Department. That's for damn sure. Um, I'm going to get on the um, hang tight, guys. I, I don't even think this guy should come out right now, so I'm right. going to get the 512. Okay. If I can find it. It's got to be here. Oh, oh, yeah, it's here. It's here. He said with confidence. That's Facebook. Of course, the 512. Oh, it's in my pocket. Delirious. Oh, here he comes. Okay. So, um, I'm going to see if he doesn't mind being on uh, camera. Okay. Hey, Anthony, do you mind being on camera? No. Good. Come on, let's uh, talk to him. Here, hand that to me. Okay. Or do you want to come out? No, I'll come out. Okay, we're good. Are you okay? They, they were pushing venom on us. I mean, they're so damn mean. Did you get to see it on YouTube? No, I didn't. I was looking for it on Facebook. Oh, shit. We, we weren't able to live stream on Facebook. It'll be on YouTube in a couple hours. So we take some down. See how they're still around us? Yeah. That's because our suits are dripping with venom. This is Anthony, the superhero who saved the neighborhood. Well, he called anyway. Right. <laughs> so tell me again, buddy. You got stung in your eye? I got eye? stung in the mouth, the eye, and I think on my neck or something. I can't remember which one, but these are the ones that are the most. Yeah. And my mother-in-law got stung. Mother-in-law got stung? Yeah, your your wife? My wife and my mother-in-law both. Oh man, and the little girl was running away and fell down. Yeah, she fell off the bottom of the ramp that they were running in the house. Oh man, it's horrifying. It's and one of. I them. guess some of the neighbors on the back side too said they got stung. Oh yeah, this, well, we had the sheriff's deputy out to block traffic, yeah. and uh, so you'll see all that on YouTube. Like I said, it already takes them a couple hours to upload the video, but they were in that fifth wheel, and they were in next to the bed in a cabinet. And I mean, we're talking 200,000 bees. Oh, are they on you? One's enough. Yeah. Anyway. All right, buddy. I will call you like in a few days uh, okay. and settle up with you. Okay. All right. Did you say next week? Yeah, I get paid, I get paid next Thursday, but if you guys want to, if you guys can send me a thing, I'll give you my PO box or whatever. All right, cool. Cool. Call later and I'll send yeah, you I'll just call you later, brother. Okay. Um, as soon as we leave, it's going to taper down to nothing in a couple hours. Yeah. Because we knocked down. 150,000 bees. Okay. I mean, there was it was a completely. I can't wait for you to see the YouTube vid because it was epic. Yeah. It was and epic. That, that trailer, did you see where it was parked before? Oh yeah. They moved it this morning. Oh my God. They must have went. My, my wife actually went back to the little pen and stuff that's back there. Yeah. Took, that we let the goats out of. Yeah. She went and fed at nine o'clock. She said there was like a couple bees, but nothing bothered her or whatever. She went back fed. They were really more used to it because we did. I like, just killed some wasps the other day too. Sure. And she left, and by the time she got back, they had moved that trailer from the back by our fence all the way to the front. And all hell broke. And I get, I bet you anything, that dude once he started pulling it, and they started. He got the, he got the hell out of oh, it. Oh man, and he probably didn't even know how bad it was. Yeah. You know, it was it was potential death. Yeah, and that that silver ram that was parked across. I yeah. guess um, they were coming out. They thought it was from third tree across the street. Oh was, yeah. So what happened with that one was it was a father. A daughter and a grandson, uh -huh. and um, all three got stung up. Yeah. There, but when we got there, the door was open and the hat was on the ground. So that always scares the living hell out of me because, you know, are they laying out in the field dead? Yeah. You know. So we didn't find them. The shit deputy got on and said, um, they got stung up. They're okay. They didn't end up in the hospital. And they're going to be fine. Okay. But endless people over there in those houses got stung. Okay. Maybe that's a dozen we, total. That's what we thought. Yeah, it really is. So that's, that's what made me think it was that trailer when I called you. It was that fifth wheel. It was a piece of shit, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, and thank God for the Cochise County Sheriff's Department, man. I tell you right now. Yeah. So, all right, brother. All right. I'm glad you're all right. I'd shake your hand and give you a hug, but we'd stay. <laughs> Covered in honey and shit, and you'd get stung somewhere. So fuck yeah. that. 
All right, I'll call you later, Anthony. Yeah, I'm gonna check on the goats here a little bit. Let them rest under there. Hopefully, they did. Are they are they under the trailer? Yeah, they're under the trailer in the back over here. And have you checked on them yet? Not since I saw them earlier when they were hiding under there. They yeah, I can't blame them. Give me a call and let me know they're okay. I worry about this. Okay. All yeah, right. I'll thanks. Take a look at a little bit. I'll let everything calm down a little bit. More. Yeah, I can let them calm down for a couple hours or so. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you. not running into the house oh my god well i guess we're gonna wrap it up for now huh yeah all right uh i'm not even gonna talk about memberships and shit i'm too beat my god i can't wait for those cooling vests thank you don you're saving our lives you're making host comfortable and saving my life <laughs> anyway love you having you guys along thank you so much we've got to race off we got to go rescue someone else in a little bit so we'll see you in realistically an hour I think. Right yeah, something like that. Okay, we're going to go. we got to get driving and uh, go get ready for the next war. We'll see you in a little bit, everybody. Love you guys. Go to killerbeegood.com and get some, do some shit. I don't know where we're